The Bug Sky Guard under the Ukrainian Armed Forces, jointly with the employees of the main intelligence department, have targeted the positions of the invading Russian army on the Kinban Peninsula on the Black Sea coast. Using various weapons, including artillery, the fighters targeted the houses where the invaders gathered. Houses were destroyed by successive strikes, and the Russian servicemen there were killed. Russian President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday launched a massive exercise of the country's nuclear forces featuring missile launches in a simulation of a retaliatory strike, as he continued to flex the country's nuclear muscle amid spiraling tensions with the West over Ukraine. Defense Minister Andrei Belusov reported that the exercise is intended to practice strategic offensive forces launching a massive nuclear strike in response to a nuclear strike by the enemy. As part of Tuesday's drills, the military test-fired a Yars intercontinental ballistic missile from the Plisetsk launch pad at the Kara testing range on the Kamchatka Peninsula, the defense ministry said. The Novomoskovsk and Nyaz Oleg nuclear submarines test-fired ICBMs from the Barents Sea and the Sea of Okhotsk, while nuclear-capable 295 strategic bombers carried out practice launches of long-range cruise missiles. The ministry said that all the missiles reached their designated targets. Last month, the Russian leader warned the US and NATO allies that allowing Ukraine to use Western-supplied longer-range weapons for strikes deep inside Russia would put NATO at war with his country. He reinforced the message by announcing a new version of the nuclear doctrine that considers a conventional attack on Russia by a non-nuclear nation that is supported by a nuclear power to be a joint attack on his country a clear warning to the US and other allies of Kiev. Putin also declared that the revised document envisages possible nuclear weapons use in case of a massive air attack, holding the door open to a potential nuclear response to any aerial assault, an ambiguity intended to deter the West. <laughs> Боевая тревога, ракетная атака, ракетная атака, ракетная атака. Есть БП-26. Есть КП-25. До старта 10, 9, 8. 3, 2, 1, 0. Есть старт ракеты. Есть старт ракеты по ракетной шахте номер 8.
Ramzan Kadyrov, the protégé of Russian dictator Vladimir Putin in the Chechen Republic of Ichkeria, which was captured by the Russian armed forces, has once again decided to drive away the show-off by demonstrating push-ups from chairs right at a meeting in the Kremlin, according to Huckleberry Finn's blog. While the Kremlin brass, among whom one can see the head of the Russian foreign ministry, Sergei Lavrov, were discussing some personal matters, Kadyrov decided to show how strong he was, went up to the chairs, leaned against the backs and started doing push-ups. It is worth noting that at the angle chosen by Kadyrov, the physical load is minimal. Nevertheless, as the video showed, the Chechen Viceroy only did three push-ups, after which he stopped his strange exercise, glancing at the group of Russian officials. He failed to attract the latter's attention. But no one, including Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, who was also in attendance, seemed to be giving the bloodthirsty warlord the time of day, leaving him glumly leaning on two chairs. By the way, Kadyrov regularly demonstrates his power. Thus, on the hotline with the head of Chechnya, he did 35 push-ups and did the push-ups dirty, which led to criticism on the internet. He also likes to show off the bench press, although recently he has been photographed more often against the background of the equipment and can only pretend to start doing this exercise. In addition, Kadyrov often poses in boxing gloves and pretends to train in this difficult and dangerous sport. This isn't his first attempt to convince the world of his vitality. In his previous stunts, Kadyrov has channeled his inner Sylvester Stallone, training with rocks and pretending to tow an sport utility vehicle all on his own. One comment by opposition channel Gulagu Channel said, For whom did Ramzan decide to film this and why did he think that there were so many idiots around. It only takes a minute for any amateur athlete, not to mention a professional, to understand the level of Kadyrov's physical fitness. It's simply not good. He pushes and puffs with 7 kilograms and 14 kilogram dumbbells used by young girls and aspiring teenagers to warm up. Gulagu wrote, It is obvious that the idea to film this video failed and its authors made Ramzan out to be a clown and a weakling. The same week, he was seen speaking slowly in a monotone to his top aides, many of them uniformed in a video released to show he was in control. Kadyrov is one of Vladimir Putin's closest allies who has supplied tens of thousands of troops for his illegal war in Ukraine.